Hello everyone, my name is Nuhafya Azalia Binti Muhammad Isha. I am a fifth grader at SK Bandar Baru Sri Petali Satu. Today, I want to tell you my favorite book called Black Beauty. The total of pages in this book is 171 pages. The publisher of this book is Hinkler Books. Anna Sewell is the name of this book's author. Anna Sewell was born on March 28, 1820 at Yarnos, Norfolk, England. She died on April April 30th, 1878. So, she is the British author of children's classics, Black Beauty. So, Wells' counsel for the human treatment of horses began early in life when she spent many hours driving her father to and from the station which he left for work. She was crippled at a young age. Although she had a difficulty walking, she could drive a horse drawn carriage. Moving on to the book, Black Beauty's story be begins in the beginning with Beauty's birth. Be Beauty's story is set in Victoria, England, a time where horses were crucial that they were the main mode of transportation. Raised by his mother, Duchess, under the kind care of Farmer Gray, Beauty learns from a young age that humans can either be a horse's greatest ally or their worst enemy. Beauty spends the early part of his life with thoughtful, caring people who knows how to keep horses healthy and happy, but he is always aware that there are other horses that aren't so lucky. After an idyllic childhood with Farmer Gray, Beauty spends Beauty's, Beauty is sent to Swire Golden at Birdwick Park, where he spends the happiest years of his life there. There he was he was cared by a perceptive groom named John Manley. Beauty makes friends with other birdwing horses including Spunky, Tasty Ginger, and a sweet pony named Mary Max. But Beauty's life isn't all rainbows and sunshine, since he often encounters other, horse, other horses that have been mistreated by their masters. At one point, Beauty was caught in a stable fire, and on one very memorable night, he rides to fetch a doctor and save the life of Squire Gordon's early wife. Sadly, it's Mrs. Gordon's illness that closes the chapter of Beauty's happy time at Birdwick. <sighs> Ordered by the doctor to move to a warmer climate, Squire Gordon's and his family leave their estate in England and sell their horses. <coughs> at this point, Beauty's life began began struggle and and the negligence from a series of new owners. One night, a drunk blow causes Beauty to fall and and scar permanently scars Beauty from a fashionable carriage to a horse for hire. Finally, Beauty is sold to a London cab driver, Jerry Barker, and Beauty looks like he'll be okay. Jerry Barker is basically the London whisperer of London cabbies, and Beauty adores him. Even though the work is hard, Beauty tries to grow with the Jerry and the Barker family and live with the ending, happy ending that he deserves. I, I think the moral of the story is to be kind to all animals. This book is suitable for all ages, including me. And now I will end my book review. Thank you. Goodbye.